Hey everyone, this is Darius from The Shot Call and I'm standing next to Broxa. How are you doing, my man? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. That's nice to hear. You just beat Splice in a very convincing fashion. A very clean macro, I've heard, from Amazing, who's been shouting you guys out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so right now, Fnatic has been rated by all the journalists, all the casters, everyone has rated them, has, has rated you guys as first or clear favorites to place first. Mm -hmm. Does that put any pressure on you, on the other teammates? Obviously it puts some sort of pressure, but at the same time it's the, the expectations from the outside are the same expectations as our own. Um, like last year I didn't really know what to expect the whole time because I was new, but I mean, this time we're we're going for the win. Like uh, we want to win. Win LCS now. Um, so, you know, the pressure adds on a little bit, but we don't think too much about it. So no spring split like 2017 where you guys almost missed out on playoffs, almost lost it to Rocket. You know, that was shaky at times, but you guys obviously bounced back. Yeah, I mean, at that time, you know, I wasn't on, on the team to begin with, so maybe maybe this time spring <laughs> will, will be better. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, so you guys got a new member, Heli Uh What has he been like for you personally so far? I think uh, me and Huli has been fitting really well together. Um, I mean, he's just a, a cool guy, like he's pretty quiet and, and down to earth. Um, and yeah, he's just, you know, nice to be around. Me and him has been doing nonstop for like two <laughs> weeks now. Okay. We're just playing together whenever we can. So I enjoy having him on the team. It's fun. That's very nice to hear now. Here's the thing, right? Yeah. Hilly Sang, while he was on Unicorns of Love, was known to be the best arm wrestler in the entire EU LCS. Like he would be, you know Roma, right? Like yes. former Unicorns of Love manager, freaking buff. Uh, and like Vizicacci got beaten, all of them got beaten by Hilly Sang, uh, even other players. Reckless apparently lost to Hilly Sang as well back then. Have you arm wrestled with him yet? Well, we could get into that, but it's <laughs> probably gonna get embarrassing really fast. Because uh, obviously he, he got us into some arm wrestling. And I think Joey was the first one, Youngwok, and he got smashed really, really <laughs> fast. And then I tried and I got smashed and you got smashed reckless. By and I think Michael, our manager, tried as well, but you know, no one had a chance. And he, he's just, you know, really, really next level. So <laughs> before it even starts, you can just feel that, okay, this is over. I'm losing right now. <laughs> I mean, you're a freaking buff and like, you, what would you stem on, on the thing like? 100, 100 kilos around that area? Uh, I mean, I'm not doing too bad on the bench, but uh, he he has a pretty sick technique, so <laughs> there's no chance. He's too good. Okay, well, I guess that's it then. Um, uh, let's talk, uh, talk a bit about how, because uh, Yesus is technically still kind of with the team um, in the way that uh, he's now looking into streaming, but he's also kind of looking into being an analyst of sorts for the team. Uh, do you have any updates on that situation and what's your relationship with him like right now? Um, I mean, I, I haven't talked to Jesse too much um, mm -hmm. in off season and, and now, um, and I'm not entirely sure what's what's happening with, with like his situation, to be honest. Um, I know right now he's a bit on the side, he's getting his own apartment in Berlin and he's going to start streaming. Um, and then I literally have no clue, you know, if he's going to return or, or what's happening. Um, that's up to, to Fnatic to find out, I guess. Enough now. Let's be serious right now. You went from you know challenger team to LCS stage to playoffs where you placed third uh, in spring and then again in summer. Went to Worlds, got out of group stage in a mind blowing <laughs> fashion. <laughs> you know, beating Immortals, beating uh, Gigabyte Marines, all very close, very entertaining games as well. I mean, you've already done a lot of things that especially Europeans have on their list. Uh, what is there left for you other than winning a split and winning worlds? Because that will be like the standard answer. <laughs> I mean, for, for me, saying winning worlds is, is kind of troll. Like, it's kind of, you know, a huge meme at this point because yeah. every single player just say, I want to win worlds. <laughs> like, it, it's so standard. And yeah. for me, it's like unrealistic in like 99% of the cases. Um, so I'll, I'm just, you know, usually taking things as they come. And right now, my my first goal is to get to Copenhagen because um, the finals are being played in Denmark and if I miss that, I'm going to be very sad. Because <laughs> yeah, so, in case you don't know, you're Danish. Yeah, so um, I want to play in Copenhagen, that's for sure. 
You also went uh, during the off season. You went back to Denmark and spoke in front of uh, a school, I believe, or like a, a class uh, yeah. about esports. You know, coming into the stage, and you even ga gave uh, one a jersey, and he started crying. <laughs> What was that whole experience like? Well, it, it was really cool. Um, while being at Worlds, there was a, a fan from my hometown that had sent me a lot of messages, and then he asked if we could meet up so he could get a picture with me and an autograph when I got home. And then he suddenly suggested um, coming to the school because there was a lot of other, um, you know, students who, who were interested in Fnatic and League of Legends and esports. And then I got in contact with one of the teachers there, and then we set up a presentation. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it was really cool um, just talking about you know my life the last year and the schedule of a pro player because people from the outside actually know nothing about it, like. I didn't know anything before I joined Fnatic, um, so I thought sharing all of that was was really interesting. And yeah, then later on I got contacted by another school and I did it again. Um, oh, okay. But uh, I didn't do it too much because obviously it did require some time, but uh, it, it was fun to, to to do a few times. Yeah, you might ex uh, inspire you know the next generation of of Danish players, and of course Dan Denmark is freaking insane in League of Legends compared to to other countries. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys have Caps, Bjergsen, Jensen, you, of course, Svens <laughs> Uh Some freaking amazing players from of the old guard. W was there like any, any of those players uh, inspired you to become a pro by any chance? Or like Froggen maybe back in his day? Um, I don't know if there was a specific player that really inspired me. Um, for me, it was kind of random in a way that I suddenly got the interest to go pro because at first I was just, I was challenger for like one year, two years before I even considered playing tournaments because I was just tryharding in high school <laughs> and wanted to finish high school. Um, and then suddenly I started playing some Danish lands with my Danish team. Um, and then uh, when I was almost done with high school, I was like looking at the options I had, um, what I could study further, or if there was anything that overshined trying to go pro, which there really wasn't. Um, and then yeah, I took a year off and just you know, wanted to go pro because I was really into league at the time and obviously still am. Uh, what did your parents and like potential siblings say about this kind of, like those plans, you know, hey, mom and dad, I want to be an esports pro now. Bye. <laughs> well, uh, the thing is, it wasn't the, in the working for so long because mm -hmm. like, as I mentioned, I was in Challenger for quite a while yeah. and I did play like just Danish tournaments and Danish lands and stuff for like a year before I joined the UK team and started Uh, playing in the UK league, so like they knew about it for a while, and I just agreed with my with my mom that as long as I finish high school, then uh, all good. Then I can play as much league as I want. <laughs> <laughs> nice deal for sure, <laughs> and it worked out really well, of course. Yeah. Uh, I guess they are now very supportive. Yeah, they are very supportive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything you would like to say to your fans or the fanatic fans? Um, the stage is yours. I mean, I guess I just want to say thanks for all the support I've gotten after joining Fnatic. Um, The last year has been really crazy and I've gotten so many fans all of a sudden supporting me and the team. Um, so yeah, uh, big thanks for that. You heard it from Broxa himself. This was Darius from The Shot Caller. See you guys next time.